Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, good Monday morning, family. How's everybody doing? Man, we had a lot going on. It's the we still in the first we're still in the first week of the month. Well, I guess technically the second week. This is the eighth. But um, hope you set your goals. Hope you've uh, been working your plan and everything like that. I want to start off by uh, just acknowledging. Um, uh, God, my father, my, my, my provider, everything. I want to thank him for blessing me with unexpected and immediate financial abundance. And, uh, I pray the same for you. If you're watching this video, I pray the same for you as well. Um, man, I tell you what, <laughs> you know, I remember, uh, man, I want to, you know, I want to talk about who you, uh, who are you surrounding yourself with? I remember uh, I remember going to uh, one of my mentors trainings and uh, and he was talking, you know, and uh, he said this one thing. He said, I can tell you where you are going to be financially by looking in your phone. And I was like, what in the world? Why in the my phone, you know. So he said, the people who you talk to most frequently in your phone is an indication of your financial level. And that was kind of interesting because I was like, wow, are you, are you serious? I remember, I remember another time this, um, this guy told me, he said, well, he was actually, uh, I think he, I think I heard said at, at a, uh, a church sermon or something. He said, I can tell how spiritually clean you are. And what I mean by clean is free from, uh, you know, the clutter of everyday life, you know, the disappointments, the letdowns, the, the, uh, uh, frustrations, the fears, things like that. He said, I can tell how spiritually clear you are by looking at your car. He's, and, and so afterwards, I went up to him and I said, how can you tell by looking at my car? And he said, come with me. Come on, let's go look at your car. I said, okay. Um, and I mean, I was driving a decent car, you know, I, 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 I was single. So, you know, I had a decent car. So he popped the trunk of my car. And he was like, your trunk is clean. I said, yeah, I always keep my trunk clean, <laughs> you know. He said, but that's, that is an indication of where you are spiritually. He said, people don't, don't understand the connection between their spiritual lives and the cleanliness of their personal surroundings. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really something, you know. So... When, when Bill, uh, my mentor is Bill Walsh. Uh, if you don't know who Bill Walsh is, you need to Google him. The dude is amazing. Um, Bill, if you're watching, you owe me. <laughs> nah, you giving me, you give me so much more. You know, I'm just playing with you. But uh, Bill told me, like I said, he can look in your phone and look at the people who you talk to on a regular basis. And he can tell pretty much where you're going to be financially. So here's my question to you. Who are you talking to every day? Because here's the thing. When, when, you are, when you're in a race, scratch, when, when you're in a fight and you have to strategize against your enemy, you have to strategize how to win. You have to strategize which direction to go. You don't need no yes men. You don't need nobody agreeing with everything you do because everything you do ain't right or you wouldn't be in a fight. You don't need no yes men. You need some people who probably going to challenge you. They're going to challenge the way you think. They're going to challenge your tactics. They might challenge some of your decisions. But but those people and, 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 and don't get me wrong, everybody who challenged you ain't always on your side. That's not what I'm saying. 
So I ain't saying go out and look for a whole bunch of people who just going to challenge everything you do. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is somebody who has your your intense, absolute best interest in mind. They're going to they're going to challenge you in a positive way. Why? So because here's the thing. Yes, men to me is like a posse. Prime example, they call an entourage. (laughs) Bring it up to date. Okay, back in my day, it was called a posse. Now they call it an entourage. An entourage is nothing but a following of yes people. Does this look good on me? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's the bomb. Oh, my good. That color just does something to your eyes. I mean, that dress is ugly. <laughs> God, don't tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? But because they are not invested in you, they are invested in what you can do for them. So they're yes men. You don't need no yes men in your life. Not if you're trying to not if you're trying to be successful, not if you're trying to get to six figures or seven figures, not if you're trying to build a company, build a business, build your brand. You don't need no yes men in your life. Get rid of them. Why? Because you're going to get new yes men at every level that you get to. You're going to get new yes men. It's OK. Sometimes it's good. You just have some people around and say, oh, yeah, yeah, that look good on you, girl. Yeah, man, that's tight. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man. That, that, yeah, yeah. He cut you up right. Yeah. Uh huh. But but what you really want are those people who can give you the good and the bad. Hey, man, don't go back to that dude no more. He messed your fade up. Hey, girl, you look, I know the dress is cute, but it does nothing for your figure. It does not flatter you at all. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm just telling you, I wouldn't do that. Why? Because those people don't want anything from you. They're there to help you. And that's what you need when you are talking about building, when you're talking about going to another level. You don't need people who are just, yes, yes, uh uh-huh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, you don't need that. You need somebody that's going to say, wait a minute, hold on, we need to look, we need to look at this option over here. Wait a second. Hold on. Did, did we try this? Because this might save us some time. It, it might save us some money. It, it might save us a headache. If we look here. See, the, the yes man is only interested in what you can do for them. That's all the yes man is ever interested in. It doesn't matter what you say, what you think. If you look around your group of people that you are surrounded with. And all you see are people who agree with everything you say. They are yes men and they are only looking to benefit themselves. And you don't need that. I'm telling you now, you don't need that. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Some people might tell you to ghost them. (laughs) Go and ghost them. Don't add that. Look here. You see the text? Just delete it. You see the phone call? D- look, now look, when you see the phone call, don't hit the button. Hit the mute button. Like on my Note 8, I have a mute button, but it don't let them know that I'm ghosting them. Okay? So I can hit the mute button on my Note 8, or if I want you to know that I'm ghosting you, I can just hit the end button and I don't answer it. You know? So, so, <laughs> so what I'm saying is, Find those people who are in your corner who want to see you grow, who want to see you succeed. Because the truth of the matter is everybody don't want to see you succeed. That's the truth of the matter. And sometimes those yes men are haters. They they smiling in your face. I, I remember that. Uh, that's uh, uh, um. It wasn't the OJs. Maybe it was the OJs. Oh, son, smiling in your face. And all the time they want to take your place. Backstabbers. Backstabbers. That's 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 what some of your yes men are. They're backstabbers. Why? Because they don't have what they think you have. 
Sometimes you don't even have it yet, but they see you way further than you see yourself at the moment, and they are hating on you. And, and look, one, <laughs> one of the lessons in warfare is to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So if I don't really like you, or I'm hating on you, I might become your friend, your yes man, so I can stay close to you and, and I can agree with stuff that ain't really good for you. So get rid of your yes men because they ain't, they ain't doing you no good right now. You know, if you want an entourage lady, you bentley up and, and you know, or, or, or you, you know, you phantomed up or whatever, and you want a little entourage or whatever, because, you know, you don't want no negativity right now. You just need some people. Yes, yes, yes. When you get there, go on and pay for you a group of yes men, because you're going to pay them. You're going to be buying them dinner. You're going to be buying them a little stuff. I mean, I mean, you are. It's your entourage. That's what they expect you to do. Okay? But when you're building, you don't need no yes men. You need people who are in the trenches with you, who don't mind grinding with you, who, who don't mind lifting you up when you slip and fall, who celebrate with you, who truly celebrate with you. People who can, who can offer you some guidance, some direction, some comfort, and, and, and they don't have no alternative agenda. Those are the people who you want. Because look, building, building a business is serious. It's serious. It is a mental mind. <laughs> I mean, it, it is. It is a head game above any other head game. Because your customers are diverse. In their emotions, they're diverse in their experience, they're, they're, they're diverse. And so as a business person, you have to be able to not only reach out to them, but to hold on to them as many as you can. And you don't need people around you who is who everything you say, they're like, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I wouldn't do it no other way. I, you, you, you don't need that foolishness. So check your surroundings, check the people who you talk to, and see if you got some yes men in your camp. And if you do, get rid of them because you don't need them. You just, you just don't. You don't need them. Why? What, what are they doing for you? Stroking your ego? You don't need that. You don't need your ego stroke. You need somebody to help you generate some traffic. <laughs> You need somebody to help bring in some customers. That's what you need. You don't need, you don't need no daggum yes men. A anybody understand what I'm saying? Hey, kid, I'm, uh, I'm going to check the comments, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I was on a rampage. <laughs> Brahim, hey, my brother, how you doing, man? Kid, Darnesia, Veronica. Brahim said, yo, that's the truth. I've been masterminding with the team for the past six months and finances have changed tremendously. That's right. Hey, if you don't know who Brahim Lark is, you need to Google that dude. That dude is a beast in network marketing. Carrie, Carrie, that's, that's my other brother. These are all from Team Legacy. You know, Team Legacy is up in here supporting me. I appreciate y'all. Bruce. Hey, Darnesia. Hey, man, I, I really appreciate y'all jumping on and listening to my rant this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it just, I don't know, it just hit me. I was just like, I don't need no daggum yes men. And you don't either. You don't need it. Especially if you are at a point in your business where it's grind or die. You don't need no yes man. You need people who are going to kick you in the butt, who are going to knock you upside the head, who are going to take you and shake some sense into you. Why? Because those are people who have your best interest in mind. They want to see you succeed and you deserve to succeed. You didn't jump into no network marketing or no affiliate marketing or no whatever business. You didn't start your business to fail. 
You started your business because you 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 had a passion for it and you wanted to help people and you deserve the money from it. That's why you did it. So guess what? Get rid of your yes man. Get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. If I didn't say it enough, I'm going to say it again. Get rid of your yes men. All right? Hey, this is Eric Leach. I appreciate everyone. Much love to everybody. Share this video. Please share it. Like, comment. I check the comments and stuff all day long, and I respond to them. Uh, but please share this video for those that weren't able to come on. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.